Hello YouTube. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to jailbreak and unlock your iPhone 3G. Uh, it works for 3GS I believe if you didn't um, use Snow Breeze to jailbreak your previous jailbreak. <clears throat> what you're going to do is go ahead and go to your iTunes and update your update your phone your phone to the 4.0 firmware. Once you go ahead and do that, it's updated. Um, for those of you using T-Mobile, you're not going to be able to access it at all since you're only going to be allowed to make emergency calls. Well, once you've done that, go ahead and go to the site. I'll have the link for you guys in the bottom. And you'll go to uh, the site, go to Uploaded Files, and then... go to red snow the 0.1.5 b5-3 make sure it's the 3 one I know a lot of uh, jailbreakers right now we're putting the the dash 5 one and that doesn't work at all for the jailbreak so make sure it's this one just download it here just click download it download and you'll have it now next thing what you're going to do is I know that a lot of them are giving you the firmware to download separately. Don't do that. Uh, it won't work. The the Retno application will not accept it. It will keep rejecting it. So what you're going to do is, let me go ahead and open up um, where I have the Ponich, the Retno. And uh, go ahead and run it. Make sure your, your iPhone um, is turn off, of course, or iPad Touch. As you can see, like, for example, right now I have a previous downloaded, those random downloads that y their people keep providing links for. I've downloaded one here, and um, let me go ahead and and use it for let's get them a Downloads. And then if you click on it, like I'm clicking right now, it's going to try to read it and it's going to say, I don't know if you can read it, they're unable to recognize specific IPSW, so you can't use that one. So you're going to have to use the original one that you downloaded from iTunes. I know that a lot of people don't know how to get it. For those of you who get it, just like skip through it. But for those of you who don't that don't know how to get it, um, I'm going to show you how to. First, you're going to go to Control Panel. Once you go to Control Panel, you're going to go ahead and um, click Classic View. Once you're in Classic View, you're going to go to the little folder, which is Folder Options. Go ahead and click on it, and then um, go to View on the top right there. And then you're going to go here where it says Hidden Files and Folders and you're going to go ahead and click it down to show hidden files and folders and then you click apply and then ok and then you're out right so then you go back to your to red snow and I closed it out sorry guys go ahead back to red snow and run it <clears throat> Once again, I'm sorry for the video quality. It's just that since a lot of the applications from Cydia are not working with the 4.0 firmware, so I can't do the the split screen right now. So you go to Browse, and then go ahead and go to Computer, your C drive, then go to User, Users and go to the user profile you're you're at like the name of your profile if there's several you must have downloaded the iTunes at a certain t and updated in a certain profile go to that one mine is Mary of course and then from there you go ahead and go to app data roaming apple computer and then you go to iTunes and from there it's going to give you like uh, iPhone software updates iPhone updater logos, iPod software updates and stuff. Go to iPhone software updates and then there you'll have the 
you won't be able to see it, but though you'll have the um the restore uh the original four point oh firmware that you downloaded through iTunes. Go ahead and click that. And as you can see it's gonna recognize it in a little bit. And this jailbreak is pretty cool because I have the three G and with three G you don't get the multitasking, you don't get the the background um wallpaper thingy. Well, with this jailbreak, it'll give you those options. If you click next and open it, hopefully it doesn't do it. I already downloaded it. See, as you can see right there, it'll give you the options whether you want it to want to enable multitasking, home screen wallpaper, battery percentage. You click and install City or whatever. You click next, and then you go ahead and start your your the process like the hold the power button down and then the home button and then release and stuff like that and then you'll be done you'll be jailbroken that's just basically jailbroken um i'm jailbroken and i'm running t-mobile now you can't see it i'm sorry guys i know this sucks and um the first time we're gonna get Cydia it's gonna be a clear Cydia so just go ahead and open Cydia and then go to manage sources and you're going to add the source that I'm going to provide for you in the bottom. It's going to be repo666.ultrasnow, make sure the O is a zero, dot com. And from there, the only going to have Ultrasnow, you click download. <coughs> it's going to give you the prompts to... Uh, uh, reboot your phone. Now, I did have a little bit of problem with this that uh, it kept um, my Wi-Fi didn't keep didn't want to work. Like it, it kept turning off, so I had to reboot every time I did an update on Cydia. So right there, you just have add your repo, and then you'll have Ultra Snow, and you download it, and then you're gonna go ahead and reboot your phone. Make sure you turn it off and on so that the <coughs> T-Mobile thing will get it. And then once you do that, then that's it. You're jailbroken and you're unlocked. And just to show you right now, just to, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to show you, I'm going to open Facebook. I just opened Cydia, as you saw. I'm going to open Facebook. Then I'm going to go ahead and open the uh, iBooks. Um, keep Subscribed if you want to know how to get your own ebooks onto your iBooks account um, instead of going through the store and stuff like that. I'll, I'm going to make a video hopefully t today after this one if I'm not too tired or tomorrow. So I opened those. So then you're going to double click on the on the home button. And as you can see, it opened like in the body multitasking. So this is all like everything that I've opened so far. And then, well, I don't know if you can see, but the wallpaper is already in the bottom. If you go to, in the back, I'm sorry. If you go to settings, and then you go to wallpaper, and then you click on the little cutie thing, whatever. And then I'll have tons of different wallpapers, and then you'll go ahead and click one. You click set, and it'll ask you there if you want to set lock screen, set home screen, set both. Let's say I click set both, set it up, and get out, and it'll be like a different wallpaper. So there you have it. That's how you jailbreak and unlock your phone. Hopefully, uh, you guys are able to do it. I know that I spent like all day today like dealing with this, and I finally got it. So um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.